Hello everybody and welcome back to Black Country Diecast. I know I haven't been about much recently but I've been very busy and also a bit under the weather. So I haven't had a chance for messing around with toy cars. I haven't got a restoration today. What I do have is a pickup video. I went to a local bric-a-brac fair just on the off chance of finding some cars and I found some beautiful old corgis which I believe are from the BP range. But before I get into all those cars, I'd like to say thank you very much to everyone for getting me to 100 subscribers. I know it's not a lot of people, but to me, it means a lot. And it's down mostly to Rob at Matchbox Garage. No, that's I can't say garage. That's not good for my accent. Matchbox Garage. I sent him some stuff and he restored a Ford Anglia absolutely fantastically. And he gave me a shameless plug. And I've gained a few subscribers for that, so fantastic. If you haven't already checked out the video, which I'm probably sure you have, I'll link to it, and you can go and see how good he is at doing a Ford Angular. But, I digress. So, I went to this Rick Brack sale, and I noticed these, all boxed, Corgi. And I went and I bought, in fact, I'll do it the order. I bought this one and this one. And she wanted £1.50 each. And they're like, yep, sold. Couldn't turn down £1.50 for these. So first, is the car I actually restored in the last uh, video, the Ford Capri. But obviously this one, not in need of too much Restoration, it's pretty much mint condition. So that's what it would have looked like before somebody put Tipex all over it. Put him back in his box before I forget. And then the other one I bought on the first pass was this Ford Transit Pointer's Real Fast Food. Again, fantastic. Well, it is mint condition. There's nothing wrong with it at all. Even the box is in, is in very good nick as well. And then I was wandering around and I was, the kids were spending money. And I thought, you know what? I need to go back and buy a few more of those cars. So I did. I went back and bought four more. And I got these. One fifty each. That would make about £6. But... I was feeling cheeky, and I got them all for a fiver. First of all, the Matra Rancho. I have got one of these in my own collection, which is in pretty good nick as well, but it's missing that, and this wasn't, so again, I just had to have, just had to stick that in my collection. Box again, sorted, can't argue. Then, this is one of two... Not the same, but very similar. I'll get them out at the same time. A Transit Wrecker. Is it called a Transit? Yeah, Ford Transit Wrecker. And the other one is in this blue box. This is just called a Ford Wrecker. Which, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, they're exactly the same. This one's yellow. This one's white. Rescue service. The different wheels. That says Transit Wrecker. And that says... I know they both say Ford Transit record on the bottom, but the boxes are different. There you go. So the yellow one is in yonder box. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, well, I don't know. Anyway. That's not important. It's also good. The tow hooks are still there as well. I mean, for a car that's, I think these are 85, so 30, you know, let's call it 35 years old. You can't argue. And then, last but not least, is this Duckham's Land Rover. Again, fantastic condition. A couple of little, little bit of blemishing on top in the paint there. But, uh, it is what it is. It's a 35 year old car. Fantastic condition, wheels. Just, so like I say, there's not much restoration to be done with these. But, I couldn't turn them down. I think they just had to go in the collection. 
but um, they'll go into the uh, into the display cabinet with the boxes and uh, just to be looked at definitely not played with just looked at well thanks very much for watching thanks very much for getting me to over 100 subscribers like i say mostly thanks to matchbox garage but we'll see and then uh, i shall be back at the weekend with another restoration video now i've finally got a weekend to myself so thanks very much for watching to all of it